It's a tool you won't find at your local hardware store. This drill is designed to extract an ice core three kilometres deep. There's not off-the-shelf equipment that's rated to work at minus 55 degrees, so it's really careful engineering. The completed drill will be nine metres long, but the brains of the tool, the electronics, motor and gearbox, is being tested in a freezer to ensure it can handle the coldest of conditions. Where we will be drilling at Little Dome Sea in Antarctica, it's one of the most remote and harshest environments on the, on, on the face of the earth. As well as making sure it can cope with the cold, the drill is also being put under pressure. We've been really happy with the results which we've got, which is heartening to know. We, we have had some challenges in some areas, which is good that we, that we identify them now. The drill will be used far away from any backup, 1,000 kilometres inland from Casey Station. It's the site where in just under two years, scientists will begin their search for an ice core dating back one million years or more. It will be a really landmark thing to, to extend our detailed record of climate actually stretches right back to sort of the time of Homo erectus coming out of Africa, getting back 1.5 million years. The air bubbles trapped inside the ice contain samples of ancient atmosphere. Scientists are particularly interested in looking beyond existing ice core records, which date back 800,000 years. The ice ages went from happening every 40,000 years to happening every 100,000 years. So the sort of the fundamental dynamics of how the climate system worked flipped around 800,000 years ago. Drilling into the climate of the past to predict the climate of the future. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.